Welcome to in 5 minutes. Now let's write a program to check whether given square matrix is a symmetric matrix or not. Now obviously for a matrix to be symmetric, firstly it should be compulsory a square matrix and symmetric matrix is a matrix in which the upper diagonal elements and lower diagonal elements match. That is every ijth element of a matrix is same as jth element of a matrix. So for example here the matrix shown over here is a 4x4 matrix and all the ij elements of this matrix are matching with gi element. See for example a of 0 2 is matching with a of 2 0 or a of 1 3 is matching with a of 3 1 and so on. So what we have to do is we have to define an array then input the matrix dimensions that is size of a matrix then input values in the array and then we have to check for every ij element of the array is same as jth element of the array. Now whenever in a collection you have to check for are all the values matching in such cases instead of checking for a matching we check for opposite that is if there is anywhere mismatch because if anywhere any element is not matching with the other corresponding element we can make sure that the matrix is not a square matrix. See for example if we check 0 1 with 1 0 and they are matching we cannot say or we cannot predict it's a symmetric matrix because at somewhere in some row and column there will be some mismatch also possible. But if suppose any element take example this was 30 then 0 2 and 2 0 are not matching we can predict it's not a symmetric matrix because one mismatch can is enough to make sure that the matrix is not symmetric. So what we'll be doing over here is we'll input the matrix then we'll go through all the elements using nested for loop anywhere a of ij is not matching with a of j just stop the loop obviously using break statement and indicate that it's not a symmetric matrix now to check whether it's a symmetric matrix all the elements till last element should match in such cases we use flag variable concept which we have used in case of palindrome programs and even in case of prime number program a similar kind of logic we'll be using over here now let's see a complete program We'll define array of size 5 by 5 then s for size ij for looping a variable as 1 then after inputting the array we'll go through the array while going through the array anywhere a of ij is not matching with a of ji then we'll make that a variable as 0 and stop the process and after the loop is finished we'll check if that flag variable that is a variable is still 1 that indicates there was no mismatch one that indicates it's a symmetric matrix and if after the for loop if is 0 that indicates mismatch was found that will indicate that the matrix is not a symmetric matrix. Then after that we input matrix dimension that is matrix size then we input the actual array. Now take example here the size of the matrix is 4 so we will be dealing with 4 by 4 matrix and let's say these are the inputs. Now how this one is going to proceed further here it is a nested for loop 0 to s which checks for if any a of ij is not matching with a of j then just set f equal to 0 and stop the loop. Now let's see how this entire program is going to work. We have input the size as 4 suppose. We have set flag variable as initially 1. Then these are the values input and there is a mismatch over here that we can see how computer checks it let's see. Then the loop will start with i equal to 0 and j will be set to 0. We will check for is a00 not matching with a00 obviously that is false so j goes to 1 if doesn't work j loop proceeds further it checks for is a01 not matching with a10 again if is false so if doesn't work j proceeds further with 2 it checks for is a02 not matching with a20 yeah this is true since it is true a will be set to 0 and the loop will stop now the break statement will work and will stop which loop? It stops always a current for loop or any current loop. This break is going to stop the green for loop in which it is appearing. But the still the outer for loop will continue. So we will go for i++, plus plus. it will check for the first row. Again it will find some mismatch. Again if it will be set to 0. Then we will go for row as 2. Again there won't be any mismatch found because in this row there is no corresponding mismatch with the corresponding column elements. Again, I will go for 3. That time again, we will go for this third row and in third column, but there won't be any mismatch. And the loop stops. But when the loop has stopped, you can see f has changed to 0. That indicates that at least one mismatch was found. 
So here we will check if f is still 1 means this has not occurred then it will print it's a symmetric matrix but in our case you can see f is 0 so it will print me not a symmetric matrix. Now take other scenario as a problem start we will set f equal to initially 1 and suppose there is no mismatch all the elements are proper that is this value is 3. In that case nested for loop will work none of the a of ij will mismatch with a of j so first row will be same as first column second row same as second column third row same as third column and fourth row same as fourth column so this mismatch will not work at all that is that if will not work at all and f will not be set to zero for loop will terminate normally and f will still remain one only that will indicate that there was no mismatch found and will display it's a symmetric matrix so that was a complete logic for displaying whether given matrix is a symmetric matrix thank you